Here is your microscope, and I'll go over the basic parts with you. And as we go through these parts, we'll zoom in and take a closer look at some of the parts. And then we'll discuss how you can switch the objectives to get different magnifications. First of all, right over here you have the base. And in the base you're going to find the light source. So there's a bulb right over here in this location that provides the light. And the light goes through this lens here. And the light is then going to enter a condenser lens. The condenser lens is underneath the mechanical stage. So here is essentially the housing that holds the lens in position. And so the light is going to be going through. And we're going to see in a second that there is also a lever associated with this housing that will be called the diaphragm lever because it controls a diaphragm or a screen that can adjust the amount of light going through the condenser lens. And this is one way you can enhance contrast if you want to or optimize the lighting going through the specimen. The lighting is going to go through this opening here in the mechanical stage. It's going to go through the microscope slide. And then it's going to enter one of these objective lenses. And you can see there are four objective lenses on this revolvable nose piece. And we'll go through the, the, each one of the, these objectives and talk about what kind of magnification you're going to get with each of them. The light then goes through a prism that's housed over here and then is refracted in this direction and finally goes through these lenses and these are oculars. They're also simply referred to as eyepieces. And they give you 10x magnification. So they are going to magnify whatever image is going into this lens 10 times. If we go back to the mechanical stage, right over here, you have a couple of adjustment knobs. And what these do is these essentially raise or lower this mechanical stage. And that is essentially going to adjust the focus. So when you're trying to see something sharply, you have to move the specimen either closer or further away from the objective lens. The coarse focus adjustment knob, which is closer to the base, is going to move this mechanical stage a bit faster. So you'll achieve focus more quickly with the coarse focus adjustment. With the adjustment knob that's a little bit smaller and further away from the base, you get more fine focus. So this is called the fine focus adjustment knob. So remember the difference. The one closer to the base, which is larger, is the coarse focus adjustment knob, and that's this one right over here. And then you have this one right over here, which is the fine focused adjustment knob. Right over here, underneath the mechanical stage, you have two knurled knobs. There's one over here and one over here. And by moving each of these, you can move this clip that holds the slide in either the X or the Y direction. And therefore, you're able to move the slide essentially in any position in a two-dimensional plane. Over here, we have our light switch. Good thing to remember if you don't see anything when you look at the scope. And another good thing to remember if you don't see any light when you look at the scope is right over here. This is a rheostat that will adjust the light intensity for you. This part of the scope is simply referred to as the arm, and it is a convenient way to grab and carry the scope. Here is a close-up view of the light source and the condenser and the diaphragm lever that controls the amount of light that's going through the condenser. So here is the light source. And the light, again, is going up into a lens that's the condenser lens. And this is the housing of the condenser lens. And you can see right over here, you have a lever. And this lever can be pulled in this direction. And when you pull it in that direction, essentially, you'll notice that the amount of light that is going through the condenser 
and then the your specimen on your slide decreases but at the same time you'll see an increase in the contrast so there's kind of a trade-off there you typically do this you reduce the light going through the condenser when you have a poorly stained slide and you want to increase the contrast because the stain is not giving you the detail that you want to see here is a closer view of the focus adjustment knobs the larger one that's right over here is the coarse focus adjustment knob and again that's the knob you use when you want to move the specimen more rapidly to get it into focus more quickly the one that's further out and that is smaller is your fine focus adjustment knob and you would turn that to move the, the stage more slowly to achieve a more precise focus right over here you have the rheostat adjustment knob that will control the amount of light going through your specimen and you can see as you move it in this direction you would be increasing the light intensity. This is the switch that's going to turn the microscope on and off. This is the objective you want to be in position when you first look at a slide. The objective that is in position is the 4x objective. So essentially it will magnify the specimen four times. And the image that results from this magnification is then going to be further magnified by the lens in the ocular which is going to magnify the image 10 times so the final magnification that you will see will be 4 times 10 will be 40 times so essentially then the image will be magnified 40 times when you're using the scanning objective here is the scope with a 20x objective in position you can see it has the yellow line. When you take the 20x objective and multiply it by the 10x that you get from the oculars, you get 20 times 10. And that'll give you a magnification of 200x. So you see you've increased your magnification by a factor of 5 by going from the scanning to the 20x objective. Here is the scope with the 40x objective in position and the magnification you would see when you look at the scope when this objective is in position would be 40 times 10 is equal to 400 times magnification. So, so you've increased your magnification by a factor of 2 when you go from the 20x to the 40x objective. And finally this objective, which has 100 times on it, is only used with oil. So this is the oil immersion lens. And in order to get the optics right when you are using this lens, the only way you can do it is by allowing the light to go through oil. And that helps this lens work to its optimum design. The magnification you're going to get with the oil immersion lens is a hundred times ten is equal to a thousand times the magnification and that is about the boundary where this type of microscopy ends and to get better magnification you have to use more advanced kinds of microscopy like for example electron microscopy which will enhance magnification by a factor of 100, so you can get 100,000 times magnification with an electron microscope.